Time now 636 beating the odds. February is heart awareness month and this morning we have the story of a local woman who isn't letting her heart condition beat her. Well, if I was not as healthy as I was and as strong as I was, I would never have made it. Eight-year-old Beth Cully is one tough cookie. I say the first three weeks was really, really, really hard. From teaching a spin class to being a personal trainer, Beth's whole life changed in a matter of minutes when she suffered from a sharp pain in her chest. I was almost done with the class and I was on my belly and I was doing some Superman and I felt a pop in my chest. That pop later to be diagnosed as an aortic dissection, a serious condition in which the tear occurs in the inner layer of the body's main artery. In some cases, if that blood goes through the outside of the aortic wall, it could be deadly. I knew that there was something wrong. I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. And even though Beth worked out frequently, according to the American Heart Association, it's hard to diagnose AD and may often be missed in women. People say, well, because I exercise, I pulled through it. And it was, a, it was a really bad ordeal. But after 14 hours of surgery and help from TMH doctors, Beth survived. But not without a fight. Barely being able to walk, Beth had to put training aside and focus on her own health. It was hard to believe that I was like this aerobics coordinator doing all this stuff and working my butt off and in such great shape to sitting on the couch and I could barely take the recliner when my legs are up and pull it back down. After the proper amount of therapy, Beth is back teaching. And that journey, now a testimony for others to never give up and keep fighting. I mean, I have my moments, you know, and I still have trauma nightmares, but I just want to, like, be the best I can for my kids. And that does help you come back. And boy, is she back. You can catch Beth with a smile on her face at Premier Gym, aspiring, inspiring others to put their health first. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Beth.